how to make our dental life stressless if we face with endo restorative cases the new bg dental tips episode let's go Dear friends, welcome to the next episode of BG Dental Tips. And this time the issue will be dedicated to endo and restorative approach. And uh, the case that I'm going to present you, it's actually a complex one. We can say interdisciplinary because it will be about uh, endodontic retreatment and also post endodontic rehabilitation. And uh, I would like to share with you a very interesting approach that is called restorative driven endo that may help to make your life easier and to uh, perform dentistry uh, with a, uh, less stress, let's say. So let's, um, let's go. Here we can see uh, teeth uh, with uh, poor restorations and also um, poor endodontic treatment. And that's actually the complex case, uh, like a full mouth rehabilitation, for example, or a case when patient comes to uh, do a new restorations, uh, which means the case is not urgent, the case is planned. So um, usually what we do in such a situa situations, we uh, take one tooth or two, we start doing um, a revision, we remove restorations, we do endo, uh, but before doing endo, we face with the problems like if you have uh, caries, like you can see on the screen, look at the x-ray, you can see that the fillings are very close to the bone even with the secondary caries, so you can expect how difficult it will be uh, to do an adequate isolation and also uh, so-called pre-endo build up to make a very good conditions to do endodontic treatment itself. So sometimes these steps, I mean the steps uh, that are preventing the endo, um, not preventing, sorry, that, that, that go before endo, uh, will take sometimes more time than the endo itself. And, and after all the caries excavation, after the gingivectomy, whatever, you will be very tired, exhausted, and you have no power to do endo. So in this case, you can make some mistakes and uh, get some problems. So what I'm trying uh, to explain during this case is that if you have the planned um, clinical scenario like this one, so you have to think restorative and then you have to think endo. So what you do at the first appointment, you do revision, okay? You do revision, you do build-ups, you make the uh, everything clean and then if you have time and you have enough power then, then go to for endo if not just schedule your patient for the next appointment and just focus on endodontic treatment so basically we are separating two difficult uh, parts of the treatment let's say revision and pre-endo build up and endodontic itself like you can see here after caries excavation and revision of the old restoration we found that the caries was very deep we uh, we went into um, gingivectomy this process took pretty much time i can tell you uh, then uh, the isolation uh, that's the real challenge because in such a cases with the deep defects the isolation will be uh, pretty difficult but again my mind is free from the endodontic treatment now i know that i just need to restore these teeth and then i will do my endodontic treatment later on so i just go into this approach yeah by the way uh, some tips and tricks related to uh, clamps that we use in uh, such a cases um, active clamps for example i would like to advise you to get the hygienic clamps b1 b2 b3 active ones that will help you to make an isolation uh, better by the way if you have your favorite clamps also in such a deep carrier scenarios, please share them in comments. I think uh, all of us will benefit from, uh, from your experience as well. So please share in comments which uh, um, rubber M clamps you use in a deep carrier defects. Okay, so here we have an extra isolation with a Brinker clamp that you can see. Then also I use matrices and these matrices were part of the isolation uh, packed with a Teflon in between rubber dam and the tooth itself. So we have so-called a ring, okay? And what we can do, we can uh, do pre-endo build-up. So usually what I use a blaster. So I sandblast everything after carrier excavation, then I do my adhesive protocol, and then I build up walls with a composite resin. 
uh, like you can see on this case I was building up the uh, proximal walls the easiest and fastest way to do that is to use highly filled flow composites like a general universal flow injectable or similar products for example then uh, then you you're done actually you prep teeth for the crowns because we are going to the crowns in this case we prep them we make the provisional restorations and then we reschedule the patient into um, an next appointment the pool chamber was filled with a teflon and also um, with a composite resin so next appointment what i can do i can just uh, open up the pulp chambers okay and then i focus on endodontic treatment in such a case as you can see um, the missed anatomy mb2 is very very obvious uh, by the way um, if you are uh, interested in um, mb2 searching tips please uh, also um, comment uh, that uh, just put there mb2 if you want us to um, make an issue of video dental tips about mb2 canal just put mb2 and we will do it shortly okay so here we have an isthmus then uh, we go into another tooth you can see also mb2 is missing there and uh, we were doing endo okay just endo uh, isolation now it's easier we can do everything easier we have a class one we have a nice environment for the um, irrigation and then uh, this is step by step approach in, in such a case you can see the mb2 was found and then uh, endodontic treatment itself uh, get aperture cones before obturation then obturation and um, done sandblasted before doing build up and uh, before we will reuse temporary restorations and then we will go into final restoration so the idea of this approach is to separate a um, restorative part which can be difficult and challenging in a deep caries defects for example when you deal with a multiple teeth uh, like in this case two molars are not easy to do endo even for two of them even with the ideal conditions and plus here the uh, subgingival defects so you separate the restorative part you separate endo part and then everything goes very smooth this is what we call restorative driven endo and by the way uh, if you are able to make a revision properly which you have to do you may evaluate restorative prognosis of the tooth if restorative prognosis is favorable then you go for the endo if restorative prognosis is not favorable then you have to discuss with your patient other alternatives like implant placement for example but you have to do this in advance before you start drilling patients teeth and this is actually a big part of our big endo resto course which is hands-on today's uh, where we are uh, using this restorative driven approach and we teach how to do primary endo uh, properly how to do retreatments and how to restore teeth after endodontic treatment in a pure hands-on mode i hope these tips and tricks were useful for you and uh, as usual i wish you good luck and may the dental force be with you